At tonight's city council meeting, the council passed a design build contract to start renovations to Krug Park. KQ2's Rusty Summers has more on the plans for renovations. More than $11.7 million will go to E.L. Crawford Construction for Krug Park renovation. The city plans to protect the historic aspect of the park. Well, I think, you know, we want to preserve the historic uh, nature of the park. We don't want that to look a lot different. We want to make sure we protect it, we restore it, we repair it. There's some things, especially around the castle and the children's surface area, that have to be um, renovated. The city will then meet with the contractors and go over the designs that will reflect public input from last year's work sessions. There's been multiple ideas thrown out, but one of them is to try and make that area more flexible. So you can have you can have a show there, you can have a concert there if you want to have a concert, but maybe you're able to also have a festival, somebody can have a wedding. Um, and we don't have 1,200 fixed seats that are kind of in the way of everything. We want to be able to still provide seating, um, but also maybe have some um, portable seating, mobile seating available so it doesn't have to be out 100% of the time. The new design will be ADA compliant and will be much more accessible. The city also wants to restore some of the play features of the good old days. We want to do the long slides in some fashion. Now, obviously, in today's world, safety and uh, the way that those things are made will be a little different than what people remember, people my age remember. But we're still going to try and restore that in some fashion uh, with, with modern equipment. And then we would really, we're, we're working on now trying to find uh, a way to recreate the gliders. Reporting in St. Joseph, Rusty Summers, KQ2 News. This project will start in the spring of 2025 and will take approximately two and a half years to finish.